and welcome to today's vlog. You're joining us in a very, very cool Norway. I was about to give you the temperature, but I don't know what it actually is. It's definitely in the minus, but I'm not sure how much minus. Probably the early minuses. We woke up this morning to, if you watched yesterday's vlog, then you'll know that I said it's gonna be a right view in the morning when we wake up because you can see the humongous mountains that are surrounding us. It did not disappoint when we woke up. Just look at the view. Oh my goodness. Mental. And then out this side, we have the biggest beast of all. Oh, this is why I love Norway so much. There's just something so majestic and enchanting about, and even scary on a night time when it's dark and you can just see this black shadow in front of you that's just so ginormous, your mind can barely even comprehend it. It's just the best, I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite things, it is my favorite thing actually about Norway. I love it and it's what makes this country so different from the other two, Sweden and Finland here in Scandinavia but um yeah we're about to get ourselves on the road we've got off got ourselves ready and we're heading around we're only driving for about 20 to 30 minutes today we did most of the driving yesterday we decided not to rush there though last night because we keep doing this on trips we keep saying stop rushing like we're always like we need to get there we need to get there get there leave get there leave we're, we constantly do that I was like, no, well, let's just stay here tonight. We'll get there tomorrow and then we'll just spend the day playing in the snow, which is what the kids really want to do. So we've decided we're gonna build an igloo <laughs> in the snow today and just gonna have a really nice, fun, cozy day. I honestly woke up in the best mood this morning knowing that that's what we're gonna do. Aurora slept much better last night as well. She woke up at three, six and eight, which is so much better than what she's done the last few days. So definitely feeling in a good mood and look at these views how can you not just feel gosh look at that crazy how can you not just feel in such a good mood when you wake up to this <laughs> We've got a very winter snowy scene going on outside the window right now. We've just arrived. Anybody recognize? Where we are, who recognizes where we are? If anyone, if anyone does. If anyone does, you're a G. But this, this place is one of the number one places to visit in Norway in the winter especially. Especially at night time. Can you remember why? And if you don't remember, then here's a little throwback from last time. Tonight's park up is definitely perhaps the best park up we've ever, ever had. This is the view that we can see right now. I just took that on my phone. That can is, you see that? That is insane. That's the view. Look at the view we've got right now at that little... I'm going to show that right now. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. You can't around. see it as good on camera. Oh, you can. You can, can right? you? yes, you can. Oh, it's so nice. There we go. That's the view right now. It's like a Coca-Cola advert for Christmas. Better. All right guys, welcome to a very snowy Flam Beach or Flam Point. I really hope that tomorrow morning when we wake up that this is really clear and there's no snow going on. We've got a nice clear view because the fjord here is something that people travel all over the world to come and see. It's insane. And obviously when we're driving through the mountain pass that we were supposed to do that we couldn't do because of the weather, this ends, that mountain pass ends kind of at the, f at the near here basically, you come into here from there. So when we knew that we were doing the mountain pass and we knew we were going to come by the here again, we were like, oh, because this is one of our core memories from last time as well, like absolute core memories. Sarah was terrified of me parking next to the water here, she made me dig like all sorts of snow out to make sure that we weren't going to slide into the water. Nice this, is, <laughs> this, is, this is Chris's massive shovel, come on. It's affordable shit. Well, it's bigger than it! It's awesome, man. <laughs> and you haven't it bigger than it. It's bigger than you, man. So, this is how deep the snow is. Um, how deep's that? About 30 centimetres ish? At least. Probably more, actually. Yeah, it's up to the. the I've done two bags up so they don't get buried. And um, he's digging it so that we can park the van 
the other way. I can't go straight back into that water. Until we get to mine when we're stuck because it's packed on the packed on this packed it's now. No, because the van will squish it down. Yeah, she's calm now a bit now this year. She's all good. But um we just had a really fun time playing on there. There's a beach and then like a, a point that goes right out into the water around down there. And we played in the snow there for ages. We're in a snowstorm right now. The snow is nowhere near as deep this year right now as it was last year. But we're in a snowstorm all day today, so maybe that'll change overnight now. But we're gonna get the snow stuff out. We're gonna play in the snow. We're gonna cook some nami food. We're gonna have a bit of van life in Flam. And um, just take in the beautiful evening here because it's just so, so, so beautiful here at night time. And then hopefully tomorrow morning we'll have a clear sky, a clear view of the fjord, and a clear view of the mountains before before we head off and get back on the road north. Anyway, right guys. Who wants to come out in the snow? Now one little thing that we didn't anticipate when we came on this trip with this van is basically struggling to find LPG. LPG is the gas that powers the central heat and powers the fridge when we're off grid, etc. So it powers the inside fridge. We've got a fridge back here as well, which is on electricity, but the one inside, the main one, is on gas when we're off grid. I didn't know this until recently before we came on the trip and I was researching, but LPG is extremely hard to come by in Scandinavia, especially when you go up north into Lapland. It's like basically non-existent. There's a couple of stations in Sweden, a couple in Norway, zero in Finland, um, where we're gonna be spending the majority of our time in Finland. So we needed a solution, obviously, because we need LPG to run the central heating and run the fridge. We do have the diesel heater, which we've been using for the majority of the time so far. We had the central heating on last night because all of our pipes froze. All of our water has frozen, um, which sucks. But the good thing in this van is that all the water tanks are inside the van, all the piping's inside the van. So they froze because the piping and stuff is on the out, is on the, the very wall of the inside of the van. So obviously when it's got, it was very cold the night before last, minus 15. And um, so it's obviously just frozen because of that. So we turned on the central heating last night using the LPG to thaw all them out because just below all the water pipes is the radiator pipe. So if you turn the, heat, the heating on, it thaws all the pipes out and it's all good. Anyway, so that we didn't run out of LPG when we're up north, we brought with us two six kilogram gas bottles and basically we can just basically turn off our LPG tank which is inside that cabinet there. We can turn it off and we can just run the central heating in the fridge off of one of these six, six kilogram tanks instead and these last ages. For anybody that's done caravanning and motorhome, I mean, these are the standard caravan size and motorhome size ones and they last forever. I don't know how long they're going to last when we're running the central heating constantly through the night and through the day like we're doing right now but We'll see. Anyway, so that's what that is. I've just rigged that up again. We've turned off the LPG. We're using the gas from this canister. And we've got another one if we need to. These are really easy to come by pretty much anywhere. You can buy these anywhere in Scandinavia. So it's just the, it's just the actual LPG where you have to fill up your own tank. That's difficult to get here. But you can pick these up pretty easily. So if we run out of LPG, we can still power everything using these, even if we run these dead and we can just buy new ones, so it's not too bad. But right now, everyone's keen to get in the snow, so I'm gonna get all the boots out, the coats out, the gloves out. Let's go have some fun. I literally feel like I am in the beautifulest, most epic winter wonderland right now. We just got ourselves all cozied up. I've even put hand warmers in my, my little mitts. I was suddenly thinking, why is my thumb so cold? My thumb is freezing, and then I noticed it wasn't in properly. But it's so beautiful here. It's one of my favorite memories ever from our last trip, simply because of how beautiful this place was. We stayed here, or we turned up here on a night time and we weren't expecting it. Chris had basically, we'd got fed up of driving, he put in his sat nav a park for the night and it brought this place up. And when we got here, we all just completely fell in love. We call it the Coca-Cola town, just because it feels like it's straight out of a Coca-Cola advert. It's absolutely stunning. If Chris has already said all this, I apologize. But now, we're just waiting for Mila, who decided she didn't want to play out. She wanted to stay inside. And we're all just about to leave. And now she's decided, I think, she actually does want to come out and play. So, what have we got out, JC boy? This! We've got out this 
awesome looking set. You can build, you can play with sand or with snow. So we're going to try and build an igloo. Although I do have to say, the snow here this year compared to it. Well, look at the same here. Look, oh, look at the size of this coat. The snow here this year compared to last year is not nowhere near as much. I remember laughing last year because Chris was like, don't, I was like, we're going to get stuck. Chris was like, don't worry, I've got a snow shovel. And he brought out this literal teaspoon. <laughs> Do you remember that? It got this tiny little thing and I was like, what is that? That is not a snow shovel. It's like it's a van life one. Anyway, um, it's much, it's not as snowy here. Don't ask why I'm in my ski goggles. We're not going to ski anyway, it's just for a video me and mummy are filming. <laughs> as my wants me to film a TikTok with her, where I've got to basically look opie like this, she said. It's like you basically just go like Don't this. check out my TikTok to see it. You gotta It'll check out the TikTok then. to see it. It will be up by then. Um, so yeah, we're all just sat here waiting for Mila. And then we're gonna go play in the snow. Who wants to build it? Do you wanna build an igloo? No, that's really sad, isn't it? Mm. Let's go right to the end. Let's go right to the end first. Build an igloo. <laughs> one minute, Isla was talking to Isla's me. Isla was talking to us, one minute. And then I just said, bloof. <laughs> I was like, where's she gone? <laughs> Are you okay? I know she's okay because obviously I checked before I turned off the camera. But we burst out laughing because as you can see, below, I don't know if you can even see it just down there. It's pure ice. I literally just said, I nearly just slipped and I said be really careful guys because it's super slippy. And then I went, is it slippy? And then she just, it's so slippy. Careful. Also, Mila decided she weren't coming out. I went back and we stood there waiting for ages, didn't we? And I was like, where is she? Put my head back in. I was like, is she coming? She got so cozy. I know. I was like, is she coming? And then Chris was like, no, she doesn't want to. Oh, okay. No worries. You just look around, right? I keep doing this. You just look around, it like kind of takes breath away. You're like... Yeah, you can't You can't physically you can believe. You have to like, actually take a breath. Like. Yeah, look at the colour of the van from the snow. You're taking a massive breath. It's like it makes your brain off, does it? Yeah, I know, yeah. It's wow, so cool. it is it is mind blowing, nah. mind blowingly beautiful. The the mountains just they just they reach the sky. Nah. <laughs> yes, darling. Um, is the snow under the uh, under the eye? And uh, I mean, uh, and is the water under the eye? There is, but the water's turned. No, there's there's ice under the snow. Yeah. So the, it will have been wet down there, but then it's turned to ice, oh, and then the snow settled on top. So it's dangerous because you can't see that it's icy. Why is I'm going to be really careful, okay? <laughs> right, we're heading down towards the beach. Beachy area. Not one with nature if you didn't hear a shout that. Jace, don't throw snow at her, darling. What are these two up to? <laughs> Whoa, they slipped. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> What's going on? You're bracing the snow, Jace. Well, he's in the zone. <laughs> oh my gosh, this place. I just love it so much, dude. She's like, yeah. You're loving it. <laughs> That's so sweet. So we just watched like, this cute little stream over there. It was really clear here last year. It looks like there's some works going on. You see the van over there. Oops. And then there's like things here. A couple of trucks on over here. They're obviously doing something. I'm not too sure what, but still super pretty. my favorite day of the trip Same. I love it I, this is what I came here for and it's very easy like I said before to get lost and we need to get here we need to get there we need to get here we need to get there 
because Norway, Scandinavia should I say, is humongous. It's massive and there's often long, 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 long drives and it's just today, days like today are what I live for. It, don't go too close to the water, Mila. Good girl. I just love being here, playing out in the snow, just sat in the snow. Come here to me. Come here, tell mama. Come here. And we're back in the van, cozy and warm. What little Ted? You can't open it, sweetheart. It's a hand warmer. You don't try and open it, okay? Because it's dangerous. You just hold it on your hand, but don't try and open it. <gasps> oh, is little princess happy? She's such a cutie. We're saving her fingers and putting her dummy in. <laughs> she had to breathe it. She's got the tiniest nostrils. Honestly, since the day she was born, she sounded like Miss Piggy when she breathed. She doesn't actually generally, some, but, but she does a bit tonight. Whoa. 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 What's these? What's these? What's those? Can you see these? What's that? These are her favourite teethers. She loves them. But she's going to have a paddy now. Oh no, she's not. <laughs> Guys, I'm making a proper like budget camp life dinner tonight <laughs> it's the most budget bizarre weird concoction of food i think i've ever done i've got both ridge monkeys on this giant one that's got rice inside and then the little one at the back that's got chopped up spam we were going to have spam yesterday for dinner but we didn't we ended up having something different so i still had them so i thought I'm gonna chop that ham up, I'm gonna dice it all, I'm gonna cook it, and then I'm gonna mix it with the veggie rice. And then, when I've done that, yeah. the girls have asked if we can have wieners. Aya. Wieners, wieners? Aya. Hot dogs, basically. In with it as well. So, after I've cooked the spam, I'm gonna chop up some of those into like bits, chopped up bits. I'm gonna cook those in the Ridge Monkey. And then, <laughs> Are you ready for this? I'm mixing it all together with the vegetable rice. Now, I might be crazy when I tell you guys this next bit. But then, I'm going to put it all in the deep pan with two tins of vegetable soup. <laughs> so that it makes like a ricey, liquidy, vegetable -y, meaty, random dish. Um, I'm just going to mix it all together. So, it's basically like a random a random concoction of foods, but we like all the foods separately, so surely we'll like them all mixed together. I don't know how it's gonna go. I'm a bit, I mean, the rice and the meat mixed in is all right, but then mixing it all together in the soup, I'm not sure how that's gonna go, but we're gonna risk it anyway, because who cares? And then we've got some nice uncut bread that I'm obviously gonna cut, to dip in. Hopefully it turns out okay. Got <laughs> the rice and the ham done. We're now gonna cook the sausage. Okay guys, we're onto something here. <laughs> that looks like vomit. Um we're onto something here. <laughs> You'd think that I like that. Dad just got the carrots out and went, Can, can you, you just can you just eat carrots? No. Just normal. Okay. So can you eat these? Yeah, well do you have to, have to peel, peel them. them. No, it's a carrot, you just pick out the ground and eat it. <laughs> I love eating raw carrots though. So You're probably nice. going to need a carrot to go with this um, random meal. Can I actually have one of these for something else? No, it was, yeah, it's for a meal that I we're supposed to be making that tonight. Fat one right there. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Now, don't knock it until you've tried it. <laughs> Basically, soup with a bit of extra filling. Okay, having a very nice van life moment right now. Dinner was boss. It was very nice. Everyone wants <laughs> seconds. Yeah, I. It was really nice. Mila never ever stops with the energy, so she's gone on right now, as usual. <laughs> you okay, darling? Yeah. <laughs> so we're having a very nice we're little, little chiller right now with the most... Dad. Yes, darling? We have a tea. What? We have a tea. Are you saying we have a tea or is it pretty? Yeah, it's very pretty, Mila. You are very pretty. Mm. Mm. We're having a very nice view outside the window right now of Coca-Cola time, is what we call it. I don't know why, but... Flam, downtown Flam, it's very, very beautiful. It's not lit up as much as it was when we were here last, this time exactly last year, and it was ish exactly this time last year. It's like the week, within the yeah. week. So it's not lit up as much, the trees were lit up last year, and the bridge was, and they're both out right now. 
but it's still super beautiful. So we're gonna take um, we're gonna take a little walk in a minute down to the the shore. And um, we're gonna look at all properly in the morning because it was really snowy when we arrived, as you saw. So hopefully it's gonna be clear in the morning. It looks like it's gonna be clear in the morning, so we can film the the whole view properly of the fjord because it's mega. But we're definitely enjoying some nice coffee right now with a view. It's absolutely gorgeous here. Very, very cozy indeed inside. Should we have a little weather check? We've had a weather check for a few hours, have we? Okay, right, hold on a minute. Da -da -da. All right, let's weather check it. It's 21.4 in here, minus five outside. And we've changed the sensor to be the bedroom one now at the back, so we know our bedroom temperature is at night time. That's 19.6 right now. So it's very cozy in here right now. Very cozy and warm indeed. So we're gonna have a last little wander outside and taking the sights before getting ready for bed. Anyone thinking of buying themselves a dry robe? <laughs> Babe, turn the light off. It's too much. Huh? <laughs> Anybody thinking about getting themselves a dry robe? Not to get changed in, just to wear as a coat. I definitely recommend going for the children's because I'm wearing Islas right now. And it's like, I am like a size 16. And this is, what is this like? I can't remember what the age this is now. <laughs> that was a bit of a stupid thing to say. Let me check. So this is age 10 to 13 years. In kids. In children's. <laughs> it fits me with loads of space. Absolutely huge. Nice and cozy and warm though. Right. Are we ready to go? Yes. Let's get the phone and go for a wander. <laughs> I'm living for dads. Some no, no, turn away. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chris was so look excited. Look at this. It was like a blinding. <laughs> Dad definitely feels like a boss. Dad definitely feels like a boss. Why? Because I put my head down at home and it, uh, and left it at home and can, and the camera. Don't worry, darling. Come on. Yeah, I'm going. To Sorry for the bad quality, guys. It's obviously very dark out here. Yes, darling. Next time, I'm going to know where. There we go, look. Talk to me, Jace. Then, then we'll go, next time we go to Norway, yep. then we'll bring my, my, my head light. Okay, no problem. Oh, this place, so pretty. You count to ten, and if you get one wrong, I'm going to tickle you. Okay, one, two. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> poo is not in there. <laughs> it's not one, two, poo. <laughs> count to ten. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. One, yeah. two. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Four. Yeah. <laughs> Start again. One. Yeah. Five. <laughs> <laughs> she, she loves them tickles. Go. <laughs> Count to ten. Go. Two. What? Is she going wrong? She said four. What? Four. <laughs> <laughs> And now she got one, but, but she, she, she didn't get one, but she said two. I know she's cheeky. She's doing it on purpose. Yeah. Let's see if we can count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four, five, eight. Four, eleven, eight. <laughs> <laughs> Nine, ten, four, eleven, eight. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. You 
nutter! I love you. I got to ten! Just going outside to take in this view one more time before I say goodbye to it. Everyone's just winding down for bed right now. But this place is so freaking special and I'm kind of not ready to say goodbye to it just yet. Let me try and find some good light so you guys actually see my face a little bit. That'll have to do. So when we came here last time, we had had the most epic day ever. We woke up in a little town that we'd randomly fallen into when we were looking for somewhere to sleep at night outside a cheese factory. We went sledging with the school across the way in the morning and then we took our first drive into the mountains which was just a completely surreal experience and seeing all of the sights and the and the, the way the mountains looked and the snow and we hit it at the right time of day like as the sun was coming down and it was just one of the most crazy surreal magical experiences ever our first real taste of like the mountains and the snow so i just remember it so so well and then we came out of the mountains and popped out of one of the epic tunnels that norway is full of norway's got the most tunnels in the world um we did a 25 kilometer one today to get here 25 kilometers in a tunnel through the middle of a mountain that was pretty cool we we're in there for like 20 something minutes anyway we popped out of a tunnel this time last year in the sprinter and we suddenly hit a 9% downhill gradient. Okay, this is a tiny bit terrifying. We just came out of another tunnel. We've gone through millions. We've gone through about eight, nine tunnels and they've all been super long. We've just come out of this one. Are we skidding? Yeah. <gasps> oh, this... I thought we were over them. Okay, my heart just um, came out of my butt, but I think we're okay now. That was just cut, just sheet ice going into a bend then with a huge drop off off the edge of a cliff down a 600 foot mountain <laughs> um, and I remember absolutely pulling my pants because that was the first time I'd actually been proper terrified of this landscape and the weather um, I put the snow chains on and it was all fine it was we went down the mountain and it was absolutely fine it was kind of like a like a chicane you know hairpin type of a descent all the way to the bottom and then when we got to the bottom this was here and we randomly bumped into this place, which became like a core memory of that trip. And it was just a really special night. We, we boiled snow to wash up with, and um, we just had the best time ever. We just, it was so Christmassy and gorgeous, especially because all these lights were all, these trees were all lit up that are next to me here. So dark, you can't even see what I'm talking about. But you get the gist, I'll throw in a picture anyway of the sprinter sat here last year. Hopefully I'll get to film loads more of it tomorrow in the, in the fjord that we're parked right next to because it'll be clear in the morning. But for now, I'm gonna get everyone to bed. I'm not so, this is the sentimental side of me that's so annoying. I've, I've been dreaming about coming back to this place ever since last year. Dreaming about just being here in this place because it was just so profound last time we were here and it was so cool. I loved it so much. Um, that I don't wanna let go of this little scene right now. All good things must come to an end, right? Um, like this video and on that note, see you tomorrow, five o'clock. <laughs>